Do we take time travel for granted? It might be an odd question, but bear with me. What I mean is, we see it so much in movies, shows, and books that it's kind of lost its magic. Which is strange because human beings haven't even traveled in time for real. Or have they? Would it blow your mind if I told you this has actually happened? Not only that, but going back and forth in time can involve ghosts and even smartphones. I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 mind-blowing facts about time travel. 25. The Grandfather Paradox No, I'm not talking about the latest action movie starring Liam Neeson, but a long-standing idea about time travel. You've heard of cause and effect, I'm sure, and the thing about that is the effect part comes after the cause. What the Grandfather Paradox does is switch those around, with theoretically terrible consequences. The effect impacts on the cause. How does it work? By traveling back in time and interfering with your own past, typically by killing your grandfather, you then create a paradox or a contradiction in time. No grandfather, no parents. No parents, no you. Technically, you'll cease to exist, yet at the same time, you do. This paradox has been tying scientists in knots since the 1920s. There's a good Futurama episode about it. Check that out. 24. The Speed of Light In order to travel in time, it's best that you're going at the speed of light. This was first calculated in the late 17th century by the astronomer Ole Romer, and became crucial in the work of Albert Einstein and his famous theory of relativity. We actually have another video going into the mechanics of that, which I'll tell you about once we're done here. But why move at the speed of light? Because it's the fastest possible speed and you have the biggest chance of experiencing time differently. Essentially, the faster you go in space, the slower you go in time. It sounds crazy, but it's true, and there is evidence. I will get to that later, I promise. 23. We are all time travelers. Now, before I get into that, let me clear something up about time travel. It's amazing and has limitless possibilities for humankind. That said, anyone can do it. Yeah, you heard me correctly. I'm a time traveler, and so are you, and so are your friends. Even your pet is a time traveler. How do I know this? Well, I'm aging. The older I get, the further into the future I reach. Okay, so it's not the most impressive explanation in the world, but it is a fact. I'm not exactly Marty McFly, but I am a time traveler. It's official. Just in one direction, not the band. 22. The Ghost Connection You've probably seen a fair few stories where spooky happenings called residuals take place. This is where someone witnesses something from the past which has somehow been captured in time and played over and over, like a recording. The author James M. Dean wrote about connections between time travel and residuals in his book How to Travel Through Time. If you ever did go back into the past, you'd be seeing one big bunch of ghosts. Everyone's alive, but also very much dead. 21. Acceleration is key. I mentioned the speed of light a little earlier. Achieving this incredible speed is important, but reaching that point is crucial too. What am I talking about? Acceleration. Accelerating gradually means our brave time travelers won't be crushed by the powerful g-forces generated on their journey. No point in visiting the Stone Age if you're basically a human pizza, is there? 20. Time fuel. What would a time machine run on anyway? Well, the jury's still out, but one idea has been put forward that sounds suitably science fiction-y. Antimatter fuel isn't something you can pick up at your local gas station, and even if you could, it'd probably be very expensive. What even is antimatter anyway? The quick explanation is it's the mass in our universe, only with negative energy instead of positive energy. Combine antimatter with plain old matter and you apparently have an explosive reaction, followed by radiation that moves at the speed of light. Antimatter fuel isn't officially a thing yet, but it's coming, for sure. Experts just need to work out how to store antimatter and then how to apply it to a propulsion system via nuclear fusion. Bonus fact, antimatter is what powers the legendary USS Enterprise in Star Trek. So we could be going boldly where no man has gone before. 19. Time Warps You've probably heard the words time warp, but maybe don't know exactly what it is, except for something you clearly have to do again. 
Well, a time warp is what it says on the tin. If you picture time as a blanket and you put something heavy on it, like someone's butt, for example, it ruffles up. That's essentially what happens with a time warp. And it's believed this could prove crucial in our ability to time travel because the warping effect can slow down or speed up time. 18. Ancient Technology If time travel is real, then why haven't visitors from the future made themselves known to us? Maybe they have. Could evidence of this be staring us in the face? Several years ago, news broke of an intriguing and mind-blowing pattern where modern devices were spotted in historical artworks. Someone in ancient Greece using a laptop, a 19th century lady clutching a smartphone, even people in the mid-17th century who are seemingly checking their messages. Of course, these sites can be explained away as everyday items that just so happen to look like mobile devices, like books, for example. But who knows? Maybe Leonardo da Vinci will appear on TikTok and then we'll know for sure. 17. Infinite Cylinder Theory Let's get back to some more serious ideas about time travel. Infinite Cylinder Theory has been compared to deep space pasta making. Now, if you think that sounds crazy, then you're right. Infinite Cylinder Theory proposes that you can create a long round shape out of a pliable matter. And by long, I'm talking really long, like infinite in length. All you need to do then is take off in your spacecraft and fly in a spiral trajectory around the cylinder. Theoretically, you would then go back in time. 16. Edison's Book of Time Travel Thomas Edison was a prolific, if controversial, inventor, but did you know he was also a sci-fi author? This took the form of a late 19th century book titled In the Deep of Time. The writer was actually one George Parsons Lathrop. However, the ideas for the story were worked on by Mr. Edison. It wasn't the happiest of collaborations, with Edison seemingly tiring of the fiction business and caring more about his real-world inventions. As for the story, it's about a man who is artificially preserved, then revived in the 23rd century. Some of these futuristic ideas were on the nose, such as the use of solar energy and a plant-based diet. It's worth noting that this time-spanning tale was being devised at the same sort of time as H.G. Wells' iconic novel, The Time Machine. 15. Time Tourists I spoke earlier about spotting smartphones and such in old paintings. That kind of suggests time travel is happening, if you believe it, that is. But we need more compelling evidence. Are honest-to-God time travelers or time tourists a thing? There have certainly been people who've claimed to be from another time. These individuals include Ettore Majorana, who may have time jumped whilst on a boat trip in the 1930s. I went into Majorana's case in another video featuring him and other fascinating figures. You might want to check that out later. As for the reality of time tourism, it has some opposition. Notably in the form of late physicist and general genius Stephen Hawking, who believed the lack of obvious visitors from the future meant that time travel probably didn't exist. That said, he believed it could happen someday. He even had that dinner party. 14. Astronauts are time travelers. Astronauts don't just travel through space. They travel through time also. During the speed of light section, I teased a story about time moving slower for those going at faster speeds. Well, here it is. U.S. astronaut Scott Kelly spent 11 months aboard the International Space Station, which had a small but dramatic effect on his lifespan. Scott has an identical twin brother, Mark, who is six minutes older than him. Yet, after all that time in space, Scott returned 13 milliseconds younger. How did that happen? The answer lies in something called time dilation. Connected to the special relativity theory of Albert Einstein, it shows that time gets wider depending on your circumstances, and the implications are mind-boggling. If you're an astronaut in motion out in space, you could theoretically travel for a thousand years and only age a decade due to time running much slower. If this setup sounds familiar, then you may be remembering Christopher Nolan's movie Interstellar, which covers the same topic. 13. The Butterfly Effect Another film that explored time travel theory was The Butterfly Effect with Ashton Kutcher. It took its title from an idea where doing something small in the past can cause major ripples in the future. Where does the expression come from? Some state that sci-fi author Ray Bradbury invented the name Butterfly Effect for his classic story, A Sound of Thunder, in which a butterfly gets accidentally squished by a time traveler during prehistoric times. 
Others think that MIT meteorology expert Edward Lawrence was responsible for these iconic words. Whoever said it, the impact of crushing just a small insect causes crazy differences many centuries later. 12. It saved the Avengers. Time travel was a lot more helpful to Marvel's The Avengers. They couldn't have beaten Thanos without it. Though, if you talk to the movie writers, they actually thought it was kind of stupid to throw time travel into the mix. However, their decision to include it as a plot device paid off big time. This ties into what I was saying about time travel almost being taken for granted. What at first appeared to be a hackneyed story element turned out to be the saving grace of the movies. Fun fact, Marvel Studios has made so much money it could probably build its own time machine. 11. Wormholes I'm sure you've heard the word wormhole before in science fiction. While they're a theory at the moment, their existence would make time travel a whole lot easier for humankind. First named in the 1950s, they don't actually involve creepy crawlies, but have been compared to holes worms make when they burrow around. Travel through one of these particular holes and you'd find yourself in a different time period. How are they formed? It's thought the rumpling of reality, which I compared to sitting on a blanket earlier, can be so extensive that it would lead to time zones being pushed together and a tunnel might be created between the two. 10. Forwards and Backwards After describing all these ideas, you're probably getting a much better idea of what time travel is and how it might work. That being said, have you thought about the direction you're actually going to be traveling in? Will you go forward or back? That detail is pretty crucial, because according to experts, one is more difficult than the other. Going forward is believed to be simpler, at least in scientific terms. Going back, on the other hand, is a more far-off prospect. Forward takes speed and the right kind of propulsion, whereas backward appears to run contrary to the laws of physics. We know how to go faster and in a forward direction as a species, so that's all good. But turning back the clock is beyond our abilities and resources right now. 9. The Large Hadron Collider is a Time Machine Another way in which humans have unlocked the secret of time travel is through the Large Hadron Collider. This particle accelerator was first fired up in 2008, where it moved things at a subatomic level at the speed of light. A mind-blowing feature of this is that it sends those protons and ions on a time-spanning journey. It doesn't quite reach the actual speed of light of 186,000 odd miles every second, falling a percentage or so short. However, that is more than enough to cause time dilation. 8. Black holes are time machines. Black holes are generally depicted in the media as death traps that suck in spaceships and unsuspecting astronauts. It sounds bad, but are we giving them a bad rap? I mentioned previously the idea of space matter being stretched into a cylinder and then traveled around to enable time travel. This applies to a black hole and is seen as another possible way of experiencing time dilation. Just don't fly so near that you get caught in its gravitational pull. For all of you wanting to go fly near a black hole that I'm sure all of our viewers are well equipped to do. <laughs> 7. Physical Symptoms of Time Travel Time travel would be a heck of a thing for your brain to absorb. It could conceivably lead to psychological issues in the same way as people who go into space. How would it affect people physically? The challenges involved in protecting someone when traveling at the speed of light are immense. As for other factors, well, we can look to medical examples for an indication of what might happen. Phantom limbs, for instance. You could argue that when someone feels the presence of a limb they used to have, that relates to time travel. It's something familiar they had in the past, but not anymore. Theoretically, disturbances in space-time where events were altered by, say, the death of a butterfly, might follow the same lines. You feel that something's missing, but in this case, you don't know what. 6. Precognition Imagine dreaming about a person, but not knowing them. Then, years later, that person appears in front of you. It's like they stepped out of your mind and into reality. Or rather, you saw them before you laid your eyes on them. This type of experience has been documented before and is referred to as precognition. Do we need to venture out into space and turn black holes into spaghetti when the secrets of time travel could lurk within the deepest recesses of our minds? 5. Retrocognition Meanwhile, retrocognition, as the name suggests, relates to the past rather than the future. 
These can be physical encounters, such as the couple who stated that they'd met Marie Antoinette when stumbling upon her house in the early 20th century. Like precognition, it relies on people being truthful concerning their alleged encounters with features and figures from previous centuries. By the way, if you want to check out some stories of people who claim to be actual time travelers, we have all that info you need on our YouTube channel, which you're on, so thank you. <laughs> Four, you can't change history. If it was possible to travel back in time, would you be able to touch it? Stepping on a tiny bug could prove disastrous, yet some think you couldn't even prod one with your finger, let alone crush it with your shoe. This takes us out of the realms of sci-fi and into the supernatural. You might be seeing a ghost-style image of the past rather than being a living, breathing participant in it. With that in mind, it appears you wouldn't be able to change history, even if you wanted to. Three, not-so-dirty apes. Planet of the Apes is a franchise that's still going today. Surely, it's a fantasy saga, though, with little grounding in reality. Well, it seems more accurate than you might think. The original 1960s movie has been praised for its presentation of time travel. In case you haven't seen it, spoilers by the way, the famous ending reveals that the mysterious ape planet is actually our own, just many years in the future. Astrophysicist Ron Mallet, speaking to Popular Mechanics, states that the shot climax is a good explanation of spatial relativity. Charlton Heston and company blasted off and must have traveled fast enough to slow time for themselves while it moved at a faster rate down below. They thought they'd gone to another planet when they'd stayed in the same place. Mind blown. 2. Time Traveling GPS We rely on GPS, or the Global Positioning System, for our location data. It's so commonplace now you might even describe it as boring. Want to know where anything or anyone is? Bam! You can typically find out in seconds. If you're of that opinion, then I'm going to say something that'll change the way you think about GPS. Remember when I mentioned the Kelly brothers where Scott Kelly actually became younger after spending time in space? This time dilation factor also affects how GPS works. The GPS space clock is slightly different to clocks on planet Earth with extra calculations needed to get an accurate satellite time. I'm talking microseconds, but in the grand scheme of things, it's significant. These GPS satellites are, in effect, traveling in time. One. Donut Power As I've established, black holes in space matter can theoretically be used to travel in time if you roll them into a long, spaghetti-like shape. But it doesn't have to be like that, however. If you have more of a sweet tooth, then how about a donut-shaped time machine? The fabric of space-time is kind of like dough, if you think about it, if forces such as gravity can make it ripple and bend. Amos Ori, the physicist, suggested this sweet dimension in time travel. Apparently, there's a catch in that you can't go farther back in time than when the special time donut was created. Huh. I wonder if it's a jelly-filled or cream-filled time donut. Either way, it's probably lightish red. So, do you think time travel will ever become a reality? Maybe you're a seasoned time traveler yourself, in which case, could you tell us whether List25 is still making videos in the future? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and check out our social medias, including my personal ones, links in the description. And if you want to know more on the topic of time, then you'll need to watch 25 mind-blowing facts about time available via this link right here. It explains a fair bit more about Albert Einstein, the theory of special relativity, and much more. So I'll see you soon for another fresh list. That one's much older. I guess I'm talking about, ooh, I'm talking about the past and then the future. Nice. Self high five. <laughs>